Sit. Good. So I'm walking crate up, uh, Grace up to her crate, having her sit, opening the door because this door is, of course, always closed unless you're going to put her in or um, or take her out. And I'm going to pat her chest and say go, and she's going to go in her crate, and she's going to go in there, turn around. She gets a little reward. I'm going to unhook her equipment, leash, choke chain, prong collar. Really simple. See how calm she is if you take off and put on her equipment in the crate. She just waits for you to do it. If you're doing this outside, out in wherever you are in the house or when she's loose, she's gonna be like this all over the place and she's gonna start collapsing and rolling around and being cute and struggling. And that's really bad overall for the training in general because it's a lack of respect to you. And if she thinks she can do that with you, if she feels like doing something out in public, because you've allowed her to do little things like that to you in the house and not be respectful and not be calm when you're handling her, she'll think she can do whatever she wants out there and she'll ignore you. If she wants to chase a squirrel, she's gonna ignore you, chase a squirrel or whatever. So these little things may seem little and they may be a slight hassle. They're not once you get used to them, but they really are huge because without these little things, you've got nothing and the dog doesn't respect you. So these are all little, just little things you can do so that they're in much better control in other situations as well. So I just hang this prong collar on the door here so it doesn't get tangled up. Grace has been sleeping overnight in the crate every night. Obviously she likes a crate. I didn't have to throw a treat in there or anything to get her to go in. I've never put her in a crate out here in the yard. We just did this for ease of just doing the video. But um, in the house she even wants to go in more. So if she stays and waits until she's allowed in, it's another way to use her training for five to 10 seconds. It's great. And then. She knows this boundary is controlled by you. She won't come out until she's allowed out as well. And I always put on her equipment when she's inside there. I always use a choke chain with the prong collar because you are gonna attach the prong collar, clip that, as well as clip it to the, the prong collar and the choke chain together so that in case this ever comes off, this comes off, the choke chain is still attached and you don't lose her. So I always use that and I just try to always do it everywhere in the house, in my yard, so that it's just part of her uniform and that way I never forget it when I go out in public. So see how she's waiting? If she's been really good and waiting like this, you can reward her. Good. When she waits at the doorway. And make sure this isn't twisted. Make sure that the prong collar is not twisted and you just reach in, it's already hooked up to the leash before you go in there. And you just hook it up. And she's very calm, she'll just allow you to put it on. If you do this long enough, then outside the crate later on, in a few months, if you consistently stick with this program, then she'll be calm outside too. But she only is calm because you started in here. Then you don't need the crate later on. But um, her routine during the day is just to be in and out of the crate all day long. She may be in the crate for half an hour, she might be in the crate for an hour and a half. But then she's out, loose in the yard, running around, whatever, sleeping in the sun, then she comes back in. It's all random, but there's plenty of time out of the crate during the day. It's just random, and so she's never associated anything bad with going in the crate. She loves the crate, good stuff happens in there. I'd feed her in there, I'd give her all her bones and chewies in there only, because you want to develop this, this crate as the special place, her den. So everything good that you can think of happens in the crate, so that she loves to be in there, so you have a place for her to go if you need her to be somewhere and need to contain her. Or um, you also uh, have a place uh, that is, I'm sorry I lost my train of thought really quickly, I was going to say something else about the crate. But there's no downside to the crate, you just want to make sure you never keep her in there for 10 hours a day or, you know, consistently. Sometimes people, you know, you're, you get hung up, you're late or, you know, you get home from work or whatever, or you sleep in and the dog's in there for 10 hours, it's not the end of the world if it only happens every once in a while, but you just wouldn't want to do it on a daily basis for very long, because that's not good. I mean, at our place, they're in there for seven hours, maybe, you know, overnight, seven and a half, that's it. And they're sleeping anyway, so overnight's different. So anyway, that's about it. See how she's waiting there? She's all hooked up, and I always bring them out like this, kind of what you do out on the street. They're as much on your left as you can get them, because maybe you have to hold this door open, pat your leg and say, okay and she'll come out. And then I always just do a little left circle like this, make sure the door's shut because you control this boundary. Without controlling the boundary, if you left the door open and she chose to come in and out at will, you squander most of your power that she would get from using the crate. It's all about you controlling this boundary to this place she loves, to her den. And you're gonna be developing everything good, like I said, is in that crate. 
So uh, she's gonna love it more and more and more. You're the leader if you're the one that allows her in and out of her den. Just another piece of the puzzle that get, puts that impression across to her. If you're doing all this stuff right away from day one, when she comes into your household, you got a really great chance of her always being really good, just like she is with us here. Okay. <laughs>